Good morning gamers, this new patch is huge, we're seeing a nerf to the SA1216, we're seeing a lot of really good new content and a lot of new changes that I've actually suggested. I spoke to Oscar and I remember mentioning some of these very specific things. They probably didn't take my input, maybe they were already thinking it, but I'm really glad to see that these changes are happening. So today we're going to go over to Season 1, sorry, Update 2.1.0 patch notes which is look at this this is a fat one as i've been telling you guys on stream for the last week yes they missed the mark on a few patches a few con sorry a few balance updates that doesn't mean that you know that they're not going to change a lot of things so obviously first we're going to see the we can check out the store update later there's some really cool stuff in the store so we're going to pull that up and let me just make sure we're actually updating uh there we go and let's take a look. So, first and foremost, private matches. You can now select the map when starting a private match. Players will no longer be stuck trying to join the game server after leaving the uh, lobby. Fix an issue where party members with different cross-play settings could be unable to leave private match lobbies. Fix the bug where players could bypass cross-play on requirement for private matches, which resulted in a soft lock. Okay, doesn't really matter too much, except this one. Players can now select the map when starting a private match. Anyways, let's just move on. Uh, power shift to see some changes, fix jump pads, clipping the streets, oh, just some small QL. Adding a short zip line, polish placement and rotation for spawn points. Yeah, that one, that one is good, because it spawns were a bit weird on Monaco. Skyway, tweak spawns, great. General, fix a big account, okay. Uh, maps, performance polish on Horizon, uh-huh. Adjusted collision and ceiling blocker to prevent players from getting stuck above the library when using the gateway gadget on Sys Horizon. That is good, because <laughs> yeah, you could actually glitch out of the map for a little while there. Moved a spawn location in the corner of Monaco near the hotels that was creating imbalanced scenarios in some game modes. It's good that they're tweaking the spawns. Fix incorrect destruction effects, uh, missing destruction effects. Okay, sure. Great. Let's move on. We're gonna talk about balance changes. Weapons and gadgets. I don't wanna scroll too much. Ooh, okay, wait, what? Hold on. Fix the bug with increases of damage when multiple explosives were triggered at the same time by C4s and breaching charges as opposed to multiple multiplied melee damage. Uh, fix an issue that made recoil on burst weapons not behave as intended, so maybe we'll see a higher recoil on FAMAS. We'll see. Fixed gateway ammo not being properly refunded when being thrown into an APS. Okay, okay. Uh, fixed hovering objects. So what happened before is you throw it into the APS and you would have one charge of the gateway and it would be really strange and I guess you get it back now. Fixed hovering objects after transmutation. Block transmutation on friendly carryables. I'm not sure what that transmutation is. Oh, that must be a data reshaper. Uh, improved zipline behavior to better match the intended exit point and direction of the player. We're gonna try this out in uh, firing range because we noticed some changes when Season 2 dropped, and I'm wondering whether they reverted it, or if we're looking at a whole new version. Either way, improve the dematerializer ability to dematerialize, rematerialize objects when multiple objects are close to each other. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so that'll, we'll also try that out, it'll probably feel a lot different. I'm assuming what that's going to change is when you have one huge change I'm seeing for this, is like if you guys use the dematerializer a lot, which I've been doing, is when... There's like two layers of a uh, building, especially if there's like uh, a ceiling and there's like a, a popcorn ceiling under whatever they call it, like a cloth ceiling or there's like a light right under that ceiling and you try dematerializing, it does not work most of the time, you get stuck and you die. Uh, this might have been a buff to that, which is perfect for me because I use it all the time. Um, probably not enough to make it viable, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. Remove the ability to equip the mesh shield during defib revive. However, they did not mention grappling during uh, defib revive, they did not mention pre-selecting some abilities during defib revive, and they did not mention mentaling during defib revive. So we will see if that still works. Hopefully not. But the shield was a big problem. Updated the shoulder length hairstyle to avoid clipping. <laughs> Updated fixed up oversized earth sweater to wear the sleeves on blocking ADS. That's a level 40 battle pass sweater. Uh, oh, UI, please tell me to fix some of these. Social syncs will not be excluded if a user is logged in. Fix the bug that would cause carryable objects to weigh more if that active ping marker attached to them. Wait, what? That is such a funny bug. Okay. 
Uh, fixing correct text on certain contracts. Fix overflowing text into Travolta. Okay, sure. Audio. Fix seek to start time not working. Corrected audio for... Okay, yeah, nothing important. Now, balance. Small tweaks. But anything is better. We gotta try this out in the fire range and see how it feels. Oh, we got a guy in my chat. In my offline Twitch chat. Looking for the sensitivity. That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay, decreased fire rate from 230 RPM to 200. Decreased damage per pellet from 7 to 6. And it fires like, what? Five, uh, eight pellets, so that will be a decrease of ten damage per shot, or eight damage per shot. I'm not entirely sure how many pellets it shoots. We'll look it up. The glitch grenade is the one I was talking about. Change glitch grenades to trigger on impact when it hit mesh shields and dome shields. Over surfaces there will still bounce, and glitch traps uh, trigger impact when it hit mesh shields and dome shields. Oh, that's even better. So you can use the glitch trap offensively now. We're gonna try that out as well. Actually, we can't try that out because there's no shield in the firing range, but we'll try everything else out. Again, this is something I have been recommending. I, I'm not gonna take credit for it, but that is huge. That is a huge change. That is an exciting change. I was added a uh, prevention, improved the prevention of detected enemy security, and added band progression with a three strike system. That's crazy. These new patch notes are crazy. So we're going to take a look at the store, and then we're going to jump into the Discord. Not the Discord, the um, Firing Range. I'm just going to take a look at this real quick. I'm excited. I'm well excited. I love balance changes. That's the best part. So, alright, new store. We got... Ooh. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. That's a reference to something that I don't know. That looks really cool. Uh, what else we got? We got the... Cardboard skins, that's a instant buy. Oh, yeah, that's the SA-1216. <laughs> that's the SA-1216 now. Oh, that's cool, I like that. This one is great. And then we got... I think that's, oh yeah, these, these were in the trailer. Lizard look eyes. That's crazy. Man, there's so many cool uh, cosmetics in this game. Oh, wait, sorry, I forgot this one. This one was in the, one of the leaks. That one looks... Actual F car skin. I can afford it. It's a bit pay to lose, but I'm buying it. I'm buying it for my solo to medium grind. Let's just try it out in the game as well. I actually have to make a. Oh, you can do that now? I don't know if that's new or old. I don't really. Okay, let's uh, go to practice range. And let's take a look of that. SA 1216, and we, we can try the glitch grenade as well. We're almost done with medium. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Once medium is done, we're probably gonna solo to diamond as a light, I think. We could do heavy as well, heavy or light. I'm not sure which one we'll do. I think light will be more hype, especially now with glitch grenade being buffed. So we'll see. Right, first we're gonna check out this. It's a little bit bigger, but it looks cool. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Okay. So we said shoddy SA-1216. I don't have old footage at the moment, we can find it, but we'll just feel it out. Uh, go to this guy over here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel a difference. You need, you, you can't, okay, I don't feel a difference, but you cannot triple tap a medium anymore. One, two, three, four. It's, you need to hit them, or I mean, you can triple tap and shot and melee. So a little bit, oh, he's, he's probably faster to shoot him. I, you know what, I can feel it. It's a little bit slower, it is a little bit less damage, the TTK is a little bit worse. Not sure if it's enough, but it is a start. It is a start. Does, and you cannot 4-tap. You cannot 4-tap a heavy. You cannot triple-tap a medium. And... 
You can still double tap a light, but it's light. You, you can sneeze on a light and they will die. Uh, again, glitch grenade I can't test because I believe it was just, it will bounce, uh, it will get destroyed instantly uh, against shields, but yeah, it's not going to be against an enemy. Nope. So that is really cool to see. Overall, huge update. Big W and Bark, thank you for the weekly updates as usual. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.